Greetings Internet! I'm back from my three day weekend of industrial music. How was your Easter? Did you miss me? No, probably not, but I'm back now and still at least a week left of Vader. It's Tuesday today, so I think we can probably get away with fitting in another Reviews Day Tuesday. However, I don't have any current books to review for you, so instead let's talk about a film I watched last night, In Your Eyes. So, In Your Eyes is a brand new paranormal romance drama directed by Bryn Hill, and more importantly, written by Joss Whedon, and also produced by Whedon's new separate independent film company, Bellwether, who previously did Much Ado About Nothing. And what's really nice about this is that they've gone for an international online distribution method. And that at the same time as the premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival, it's released online for anyone who wants to rent it for $5. And as someone who lives in what you could call a secondary distribution zone, I'm all for more worldwide release coordinations. And then my camera died because I hadn't yet put either of my batteries on charged in resistance. Hopefully now it's not getting too gloomy to get this video finished off. So yeah, while I'm a big fan of going to the cinema with big screens and big sound and popcorn and as long as there's no talkers, and that works great for your big action adventure type films, but when it comes to a more low budget, intimate romance, that's not really what you need. You need a setting that matches that feeling. And so the comfort of your own sofa and a cup of tea is a much nicer setting for such a film. So being able to rent it online from day one for less than it would even cost to go to the cinema, it's an excellent choice. Now obviously that's not necessarily an option for anyone because you need a way to generate word of mouth to get people to go to the online site. And obviously in this case, they're going to be relying heavily on the Whedon name. But it's definitely something I would be happy to see a lot more filmmakers try. The film itself I won't say too much about because it's barely a few days old. But I will say I really enjoyed it. I like the characters and the actors portrayed those characters well. It looked great. It sounded great. It's a fairly standard romance story I guess but with enough of a paranormal twist to make it feel fresh. And if you're into similar things, I would definitely say it's worth giving it a look. I'll link to the rental page down in the description below, but for now I will leave you there before it gets far too gloomy and near to film. And I will see you again tomorrow.